Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Math Channel, and this is question number six, which is the final question from this June 2022 International A Level at Excel Statistics S1 paper. Um, this question is about normal distribution. And it says here a manufacturer fills bottles with oil. The volume of oil in a bottle, V milliliters, is normally distributed with, and this is V is such that it's normally distributed with a mean of 100 and a standard deviation of 2.5 so this tells you that the mean is equal to 100 and this tells you that the standard deviation which is given by the sigma sigma is 2.5 this is actually the variance the mean and the variance the square root of the variance is the standard deviation that's what we can extract from this so it's important for us to understand what this means okay in this terminology can't just um, ignore that. We have to understand this. V is such that it's normally distributed. The first number is the mean. The second number is the variance. That means the mean is 100 and the standard deviation is 2.5, not 2.5 squared. That would be the variance. Okay, so we've got to find the probability that the volume in the bottle is greater than 104.9 milliliters, of course. So we've got to find the probability that the volume is greater than 104.9. Okay, so what we can do here is we can um, think about the normal distribution curve. Okay, so I have one. Uh, this is like the normal bell curve for the normal distribution. Um, now, in this particular case, if we take the value of V, the value of V is, the mean of V is 100 milliliters. And uh, 104.9 is going to be somewhere over here, more than 100. Okay, so let's say that's 104.9 over here. Okay, 104.9. So we got to find the probability that the volume is greater than 104.9. So basically, we got to find the area under the bell curve when the, the scores are standardized, when we've got everything in terms of Z. So in terms of Z, the mean is always zero. Okay, and we got to find how many standard deviations above the mean is 104.9. So we have to use the standardization, which is Z equals the score that we have minus the mean over the standard deviation okay so we got to standardize this score so we can say the probability that v is greater than 104.9 is equal to the probability that z is greater than then standardizing this you have 104.9 minus 100 over the standard deviation which is 2.5 okay so that will tell us that we need to find the probability that z is greater than so we can work out what that is so we have 104.9 minus 100 which is 4.9 over 2.5 49 over 25 which gives us 1.96 so z is greater than 1.96 okay so the z value of for this particular is this particular point is 1.96 that's the standardized value which we find in our table of values now the problem is, what we want to find is the area to the right of z equals 1.6, 1.96. But the table of values that we have in our table only tells us what's to the left of this value. So the table of values that we'll find in our tables will tell us the area. When we read it off, we'll get this area over here. This is the area that we will get from the table of values. So we got to work out how to find the area we need, which is to the right of it. Now, the total area, when you've been talking about the standardized scores, is equal to 1. So therefore, this is going to be 1. This area is going to be 1 minus that. So basically, what we need to do here is we need to say that the probability that Z is greater than 1.96 is the same as the probability, um, or 1 minus, you could say, uh, is the same as 1 minus the probability that Z is less than 1.96. If I take this area away from 1, I'll get the area I need. Okay, And this is what we can find in our table. So this is 1 minus. Now we're going to go to the, our table of values, and we're going to look at 1.96 and see what the area under the curve is for that part here. So if we go to our table of values, and we look at 1.96, 1.96 is over here. That's the Z value of 1.96. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, just take a few of these values from here. 
all right and we will take those values put them over here and we're looking for 1.96 okay so we can see 1.96 is exactly here so that tells you basically that the area this area here is 0 0.9750 basically this area here this whole section here it's area 0 0.9750 so the probability of something being less than 104.9 or you could say less than the standardized score of 1.96 is this therefore the area that we want is 1 minus that so it's 1 minus 0 0.9750 so therefore we can say that the probability that the volume is greater than 104.9 which is what we're asked to find is equal to 1 minus 0 0.9750 which gives us 1 over 40, which is 0 0.025, 0 0.025. So there's the answer to part A of this question. Okay, now for part B. And it's, it says, in a pack of 150 bottles, find the expected number of bottles containing more than 104.9 milliliters. So basically, this is the um, expected value. Okay, um, that that's how that's what what proportion of the bottles will be more than 104.9 milliliters. So if there's 150 bottles, you just take the value, take the uh, fraction, take the, the the probability, multiply it by 150, and that will give you your your answer. So we take this value, multiply it by 150. So out of those 150 bottles, we could say that 3.75. The expected number of bottles is 375. Three. 3.75 bottles okay will be containing more than 104.9 milliliters okay that's how that's what we can say about the expected number of bottles okay so there's the answer for question number 6a and part part a and part b now we're going to go on to part c it says find the value of v to two decimal places such that the probability that v is greater than that value of v that we have to find the volume in the bottle is greater than that value of V, is greater than that value of V, given that V is less than 104.9, um, and that whole probability of that is 0 0.2801. So basically what we have here, okay, so we have here our normal distribution again. We've got already, we've, we've had, already found that this value for, this is 104.9, Okay, and that had the Z value of 1.96. This is 100, this is Z value of zero, this is V, this is Z. Okay, so now it says find the, to the, to find the value of V to two decimal places such that the probability that V is greater than that value given that V is less than 104.9 is equal to this. So basically what, we, what we're gonna say is that the probability that V is greater than V intersection with V is less than 104.9 divided by the probability that v is less than 104.9 is equal to 0 0.2801 because we know that the probability of a given b is equal to the probability of the intersection of a and b over the probability of b okay so we've got to our sample space is this part this is what we're looking for we're looking at the whole sample space Okay, so our whole sample space is basically just this whole area here, up to there. We're just looking at the part inside, okay, the curve up to that point. That's our sample space, okay? Now, we know that that probability of that whole thing was 0. Point, what was it? 0 0.9750. That's for V being less than 104. 0.9750. 9750. Let's just make sure of that. Yeah. Okay. So that's our sample space. So our denominator, our denominator is going to be that. Okay. So we, our denominator is going to be 0 0.9750. We've got to work out what this part is here. Okay. So we know that um, when you divide, when you divide um, the probability that V is greater than the value so the value of v somewhere somewhere over here we know that this this area here 
is that basically. V is greater than V. Intersection when V is less than 104.9. That's that area over there. Okay, that's the area in this section here. That's the that's that's the intersection between V being greater than V. Okay, V being greater than this value here. Intersection with V being less than 104.9. Okay, that's that area here. So if I can find that area here, that's going to be my numerator here. And I know that that, the probability that V is greater than V intersection with the probability that V is less than 104.9, that divided by the whole of this area is going to give us 0.2801. Okay, so that intersection is this part here. That's what we have to try to find. Now, what I know um, is this section here is, is basically we can find this by just rearranging this equation here. Okay, we can find this by rearranging this equation here. So if I rearrange this equation here, I will have V greater than V intersection with the probability of V being less than 104.9 is equal to 0 0.2801 multiplied by 0 0.9750, just cross multiplying. So I take this uh, value here of 0 0.28, sorry, 0 0.2801, multiply that by 0 0.9750, and that gives me 0 0.2730975. Let me just write the whole thing down. 0 0.273 and 0975, 0975, just keep the accuracy for now. So I know that this is the intersection between those two, 104.9. Okay, that's what that's equal to. Now I know that the whole of this area, okay, the whole of this area, okay, is basically, um, the whole of this area here is, 0 0.9750, the whole thing. And I know that this area basically now is 0 0.2730975. So if I want to find the probability that V is greater than V, I can find what this area is now. Okay, and do one minus that. Okay, because I need to find the probability that V is, well, actually, I just need to find V, actually. So no, I don't. I need to find what this here area is here. So the area that we're looking for, the probability that V is less than V is basically now going to be given by 0 0.9750 take away 0 0.2730975. That's going to be the area because um, we got all of this, which is 0 0.9750 take away this area here, leaves us with that part. The whole thing, which is this, take away this part, leaves us with that part, which is the area ju just below V. Okay, so we take this value that we've got in our calculator here, we do 0 0.9750, take away the answer, 0 0.9750 minus the last, one second, 0 0.9750, take away the last answer, that gives us 0 0.7019025, 0 0.7019025. So we know now that the probability that V is less than V is equal to 0 0.7019025. So we're going to look for this area rounded to four decimal places in our table of values. So if we go to our table of values, we go back to our table of values, which is over here. We look for 0 0.70. 0 0.70, I think they're over here. Let me just let me just copy some of those over here. So we're looking for the areas now around that. We can find the Z value that we need. So let's take this and paste it here. What's happened there? Oh, it's gone pasted up here probably, yeah. Okay, so we got this value here. Got these values, let me bring them down. Okay, so now... We're looking at 0 0.7019, which we can see there is something almost exactly that over here. So I can see that, all right, for, for the value that we have, the Z value 
is equal to 0 0.53. That's a Z value. So we know that um, Z is equal to, well, this is going to be V minus the mean over the standard deviation. Okay, so we know that it was V is such that it's normally distributed with a mean of 100 and a standard deviation of 2.5. So we can say that 0 0.53 is equal to what we're trying to find V minus the mean, which is 100, over the standard deviation, which is 2.5. So we can say 0 0.53 times 2.5 plus 100 is going to give us V. So the V value we're looking for is going to be 100 plus 0 0.53 multiplied by 2.5 which gives us 101.325 101.325 and the answer in this in this part of the question must be given to to two decimal places so this part we have to round it to two decimal places so be very careful to uh, always check how you round your answer you might assume it might be one decimal place or 3sf but in this case it says two decimal places so we should write our answer as 101.3 three to two decimal places and that completes this question um, which is question part c of question six the final question on this june 2022 uh, s1 paper from edexcel international a level other questions from this paper can be found on the playlist that will appear in this region over here you can click on that to go to that playlist other questions from um this topic of normal distribution from S1 can be found in the playlist that will appear in this region over here. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. And if you click on this link that comes up here with a, uh, a video, we'll explain to you how to use my channel in order to help you revise for your you know, exams and how to access things that you might find useful. Thank you for watching and see you soon.